This video is part one of a five-part series. Make sure to watch all of the videos in the series in the order shown. The tasks in the daily maintenance checklist must be performed every day at startup or shut down unless otherwise noted. Before you begin, make sure you have the following items. If you're doing maintenance at the beginning of the day, turn the printer on. If you're performing maintenance at the end of the day, turn the printer off. Select switch mode. Open these covers. Turn the Corona treater off, then pull out the electrode cartridge. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the electrode cartridge. Wipe off any paper dust, glue, or ink marks. Make sure to turn the cartridge around and clean the insulator. Set the cartridge aside. Then clean the interior. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the rollers. Wipe off any paper dust, glue, or ink marks. When you're done, select Rollers and Electrodes Corona Treater. Vacuum the interior. If the interior is dirty, use a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol to clean it. Reinstall the cartridge, then close the cover. When you're done, select Corona Treating Station. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the workbench. Remove these plates, then clean the paper edge sensors and joint sensors using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol. Clean the plates and reinstall them. Close this cover, then open this cover, and move this lever to the open position. Open this cover, then using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the roller. Close the cover. When you're done, select Workbench and Rollers Unwinder side. Remove the web cleaner. Using a dry polyester or nylon cloth, clean the web cleaner cloth. If glue is stuck to the web cleaner cloth, dampen the cleaning cloth with alcohol and wipe the web cleaner cloth. Then remove any hardened glue with your fingers. Remove any small objects such as splinters with tweezers or slightly sticky tape. Set the web cleaner aside. Close this cover, 
Then select Web Cleaner. Make sure this lever is set to the open position. Then open this cover and move these levers to the open position. Using a cleaning stick dampened with alcohol, clean the top of the paper with sensor and the reflector at the bottom. Then using a dry cleaning stick, clean the top and bottom of the eye mark sensor. When you're done, select sensors for paper width and eye marks. Loosen these screws. Then remove the ionizer and set it aside. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the roller as you rotate it. When you're done, select Foreign Substance Detection Roller. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the drum. If there is any residue, remove it with slightly sticky tape or a scraper. Repeat this process until the entire circumference of the drum is clean. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean this area. When you're done, select Drum. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the top surface of the curing unit. Move the lock lever to the open position, then slide the curing unit to the right. Using a spatula or a scraper, remove any ink deposits from the light glass. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, wipe the glass. Repeat this process until you can no longer feel any ink deposits. Wipe the glass with a dry polyester or nylon cloth. When you're done, select Curing Unit 3. Open this cover. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the rollers. Move these three levers to the closed position. Then close these covers. Return the curing unit and lever to their original positions. Then select rewinder side rollers. Open this cover. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the surface of this ionizer. Then clean the needles using a dry nylon brush. Loosen this screw. Raise the upper ionizer. Then clean the needles. Set the ionizer aside. Then move the substrate out of the way. Clean the needles on the lower ionizer. Reinstall the substrate and upper ionizer. Then reinstall the web cleaner. Clean the previously removed ionizer. Reinstall the ionizer at the front of the drum. Close these covers. Then select ionizers. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the workbench. When you're done, select Rewinder Side Workbench. Open these covers. Inspect the top of the UV lamp curing unit. 
If it's dirty, clean it using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol. Raise the unit, then clean the irradiation area. Make sure there are no scraps of paper in the area. Using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol, clean the rollers. When you're done, select Scrap Paper and Rollers, Additional UV Lamp Curing Unit. Inspect the glass surface and clean it using a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with alcohol. Lower the unit. Turn these knobs 90 degrees, then remove the plate. Remove the filters and clean them, starting from the dusty side. Reinstall the filters and cover plate. Close the covers. Then select filters and glass, additional UV lamp curing unit. Remove the filter frame. Remove the filters from the frame. Clean the filters, starting from the dusty side. Reinstall the filters and the frame. When you're done, select additional UV lamp curing unit power supply air intake filters. Open these covers. Release these clamps, then remove the filter frame. Clean the filter, starting from the dusty side. Reinstall the filter and the frame. Then close the covers. Then select drum section air filters. Remove these filter frames. Clean each filter. Then reinstall the filters and their frames in their previous positions. When you're done, select UV air filters. Make sure there are no tools or jigs inside the press. Make sure all levers are in the closed position. and make sure all covers are closed. Then select switch mode. Make sure to watch the other videos in the series.